Welcome back to more Hunter Hunter. If people paste is what you want to see, well, I have certain questions which I don't think I actually want answered. You stay where you are. But if instead you just want to sit down and watch some anime, you're probably in the right place because this is more Hunter Hunter and Killer is on his journey to help save his friend. Of course, it can go quite easily or go downhill very, very quickly. Especially when you've got the genie out of the bottle that is his sibling. What exactly is it that uh, they're capable of? Are the wishes limitless? Who's going to pay the price? I guess there really isn't any backing out of it now. We need to find out what more rules are there to the big game. Let's find out. Around the same time, of course, we're seeing several stories run run in parallel. But who? Soka. Sharing a nice drink. Hmm. To satisfy her curiosity. So maybe they were doing their own little experiments. To well, considering they see life as kind of cheap, well, it makes sense that there would be certain exchanges going on. Had it Fair enough. Well, so what happened to that butler after they made the wish? I'm guessing they weren't just let let off with it. There's a certain level of reprimand, but... So the idea of using it as a... Using the wishes as an assassination tool, well, we've seen one of the brothers actually be... Kind of go down that route. And so I guess with that in mind, uh, well, we just need to be careful who ends up talking to this one. And considering the bits and pieces of what we're seeing, having the entire the Zodiac family get involved, this is going to be... Dangerous, to say the least. Was, oh, was he applying more paint? Was trying to work out what, it had in, what he had in his hand, there. Back to the backstory and flashbacks. I like these borders. Allowed to just wander around, take photos in the forest? That's not a bad photo subject. <laughs> oh no. Just tell him no. It's fine. Nothing can go wrong. There is no way out of that. Eat it. Probably die. Don't eat it. Die. Hmm. Yeah. 
having it contained so you relatively more or less know who is being affected by it, but it's different from more than two, okay? So depending on the severity of the wish, who gets involved there? Splat. Oh. Hmm. The teachers, classmates, people, friends, foster parents. Anyone and everyone that she knew. Jesus. It would hate to be a postman around there. But did she survive? But not get affected by it? The most in the world. Uh-huh. So either she was lying, or... There are some very weird little applications for this. What, so they took the place of the mother in the whole... <coughs> You know, actually, just trying to verify the rules is one thing. Can they... Oh, is it? Hmm. Well, I guess they're just clearing up in any, in any case, but... Why don't they use someone to ask a wish of the... Uh, of this magical being, <laughs> the, the, of, of, the, of the sister... Just tell them the rules. I mean, isn't that what Killua did? Because he didn't he say that he got... He got them to tell the, what happened. Along with, in order, spent the most time with... Hmm. Because you only saw them every once in a while. So it's whoever you take love most takes that place, and then in chronological order. So all you need to do is cut ties with everyone, and then stop talking to anyone outside. Perfectly safe. <laughs> Hmm. Kira is... And then attempt to... Oh, uh, yeah, okay. I was going to say that Kira is somewhat unlike the rest of members of his family. And seems a lot more normal when it comes to familial bonds. He's... Well, I don't know particularly what the extent of the contract, but he's pretty spot on so far. And he knows that fact. Who will 
end up being the, the, the victims of that that kickback. If that's what he loves most. Huh? Did you think he loved his older brother the most? At least Soka is uh, sane enough to know that he's insane, unlike Hirumi. <laughs> mm. That would be, yeah, Soka, every hunter that he has met and talked to before. If you've got Hosoka to start to worry, you know there's gonna be trouble. Especially since it's not in a fight or any... Hmm, this is gonna be difficult. <laughs> that was an impressive uh, mag magic trick there. Just. His entire head vanished. Always of these dis disembodied faces. But you feel he's lying. Okay. Will it be... Will it be that easy to uh, take them down? Should anything go wrong? 39% of the votes. I mean, it's... Is it getting closer, but still far away? There's more absences, and yet... The turnout is... Ah, that's what it meant. Despite the trials it takes to actually become a hunter, sure they can't make that. Uh... What is it giving to her? Is this retroactive? So, like, they didn't know they were going to lose their license because of it. O okay. How how gracious. And if it's a uh, put to a vote and it goes through, it can't be. Him making all of the decisions. Seems to be pushing things to his own little uh, ends here. Kind of like how the gem put him in because it's, oh, you, isn't it interesting when you work with someone that you dislike individually are they ah oh, okay I thought they were doing little election campaign trails not <laughs> just the importance that everyone comes in and does vote Maybe Jing had the right idea and actually looking in the box to see who voted for what. <laughs> will the... Oh, yeah. Will the Zodiacs actually reach the end of the, uh, the vote?
Amazing. It scared me to it scared me almost to death. So as long as Killer obeys by these rules, how many more are there? <laughs> the one. Uh, so there's. Split personality uh, kind of thing going on are the demands that must be fulfilled. The ones proceeded with a killer own, like, ah, shit, here we go. Where they're the demands which are a little more give me your spine. Whereas that kind of <laughs> that kind of familial love and just pat my head, tell me I'm a uh, uh, I'm good he is not really happy at how the things are proceeding. Since three things have been uttered, uh, well, three demands have been met. Okay, I, maybe I need to put down a notepad and start. Resets. Oh, that's good. Instead of going consistently ramping up, if there's a death, back to the start. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, well, there goes my thing that I said last episode. If one of them starts making demands and then leaves, that won't work. Ah. So they were kept safe because others were sacrificed first. Hmm. Mm hmm. And at least one more. Okay. Well, that's good. And I, so people can just take it in turns then, I guess. But there's some good extra rules that they managed to work out. But how long did it take them to actually get there? And how many does Killua know that the family don't? If he's wanting, ah, uh, save gone, just get it over and done with if the demands have been met. But is he trying to just be a brother for a while first? Rather than treating them as this wishing well, very deadly wishing well. If others are thrown to the wolves, sacrificed in his stead. Oh. The Is he on his way out? They are keeping the face of that of that girl hidden from us. Are we now going to be told the other rules as well, or are we going to be drip-fed them when it's necessary? And how is the killer going to be able to use it to his own advantage to avoid becoming a, a fruit smoothie? Mm. Okay, well, they, they share that at least, calling it Nanaka.
How is he making you wish now? Oh. Well, looks like they're gonna have to, like... They're gonna be off now, then. But I like that it is a... a co contingency thing. So if they make it off the mountain, then it's fine. Oh, well, he, he gets a, a kiss instead. Right. Wish has been made, so... Now he's going down that level of, like, extortion coercion and, uh... Well, can we be off? I mean, that is just how fervent he is in his... Ideals for going and helping God. <laughs> Only one wish will be granted, but... Yeah. Make it into a if statement. You can have a bit, fair bit of fun for it. Let's hope the door's actually open in time and they can, he can get out in 30 minutes. <laughs> and no one stops him for chit-chat or anything. Time is of the essence, after all. Oh, little sparrow. But not good at fixing. Yeah, I can imagine that. Ah, that's why it needs to go with him. Take them all the way to where Gon is currently. If they actually let him in once they get to the hospital. Well. Good for the bird, but who probably paid the price for that heal? What const uh, constitutes the mountain, though? Just ah, guess he made it. But now that he has is actually off the mountain, has fulfilled that quota of of the uh, the wish. Is there anything stopping the family coming and stopping him now that he's out there? rather than opening themselves up to potentially deadly demands. But if the value of the demands jumps each time it's used until there's a death, killer has already done this one. You pat on the head, die. Luckily you managed to do that magic trick just head disappears so it makes it this the illusion of dying so I think that's another question of mine ticked off so if the whole oh give me your liver and like Killua's sleight of hand you did something similar there's ways around these demands that won't be fatal you just need to be Quite semantic. Now let's uh, get started by saying, if anything looks a little different, it's because, well, there's been a day passed since I last watched the episode and I didn't actually get to record my thoughts on uh, on what I saw before I had to stop recording. So, while things are still somewhat uh, fresh in my mind, the whole idea of the episode where some more rules were laid out. Exactly how much is understood of the ability is questionable. Sure, Killua has a bit more knowledge. Maybe because he's actually asked the Nanika 
dans les cas. With only a few uh, loss of lives for the for the trouble, the idea of resetting it. Oh, uh, wish granted. Cool. Throw in a butler. So while knowing the dangers of this wish granting, or also, and also trying to keep certain family members safe from it, still just sacrificing others for the greater good. And yet no one thought of doing contingency-based wishing. The whole, if certain thing, then give me this, otherwise give me that. I wonder if anyone's thought of that in the whole genie free wishes routine. But I'm also assuming that there's going to be some more that are cropping up. Kiro has done his due diligence, figured out a few more things about how this all works out, and the fact that the he himself, you can't just treat the the sister as some being that's not meant to be part of the family. At least not wholly. There is still the sister in there, and the other thing. There are people with split personalities and certain disorders. Hopefully none quite as terrifying as this, though. With or without the wish-making powers, the whole turning your facial, facial features into voids. Hmm, I'd be, I'd be okay with not seeing that. But the grand plan is underway. Killua absconding with his sister, leaving through the front entrance and just walking away. If the idea of healing only works in very close proximity, getting her alongside gone and actually carrying out the wish, but now that he's made that wish to get out, he's going to have to go through the go through the, the, the free um, demands again. But also, what happens if the demands get asked before he's even close? Does he have to make sure no one goes near the uh, the girl? No one, she doesn't overhear anyone in case any side wishes get pulled off just by someone exclaiming loudly that they'd like more coffee. I know that it was some of the rules being set out was like... Uh, once someone has started to have demands asked of them, you can't swap over. But, like we also saw, once the demands are fulfilled, anyone can ask the wish, because that's when Killua came in and go, throw me high, or make me fly high. This is a very dangerous one to be let out into the wide world, and you can see why the family were kind of hesitant against it. And considering some of the characters that we have met, I can see a few of them that might be a little interested to obtain her and her abilities. If for nothing else, then... Father and Wanton Desires. If Crawler got his hands on it and figured out how it all works... Actually, no, he would be able to steal the... Um, the ability, if it is a Nen ability and not some, something else. God, that would be terrifying. And also, in the case of... Oh, no, because would have the book and only can have what, certain things active. I had an idea, it didn't pan out. I do like the thought of, though, that Kilua is going to... Bring her to Gon, get someone else to make the wish, and then carry on the the demands himself to pay the price. But then who goes pop when it eventually fails, if it would? Or if Killua has understood that eventuality and just knows how his sister works. So much like the whole hide your head on the die command. 
just make sure that she's not completely furrowed with her investigation after some of the demands. These episodes are weird. I like it, but they're weird. You have a family of highly trained assassins and they've made a name for themselves and they're hiding of something like this and it is somewhat hidden. Not told to us where or why she has these abilities. In fact, the characters themselves are not alluding to it in any way and they're trying to actively avoid it by saying something. And it came from somewhere. Also, what would happen if you asked for the the wish that you made was to bring back everyone that Nanaka had killed through the failing of the demands? Would that also be immediately fulfilled? How physics defying is all of it? Is is death unfixable? Considering healing needs to have physical contact. And with that thought, what if you ask for a wish that is impossible for it to fulfill? Does it reset or ask you for... No, no, can't do that one. Try again. Or is there a price to pay for being too overambitious? Which could bring into some problems with uh, just how badly gone is injured. That's that's uh, questions for the future, things to worry about later on. So if you've enjoyed this episode of Hunter Hunter, best let me know. Leave a like and a comment down below, it helps out the channel. If you want to make sure not to miss out in the future, or if I've done anything to earn it, actually probably mostly that one, consider subscribing to the channel. If you've made it this far in, I wholeheartedly thank you. Really, try and get yourselves a bit of rest. Think very carefully about what you wish for. And I'll see you in the next one. I have done quite a few requests through viewers and patrons, but there are probably some which I would maybe refuse to uphold. But still, not quite found them yet. So, if you would like to add to the ever-growing list to see me do, consider joining onto my Patreon as well. And be alongside the likes of Noku, Raywin, Sal, Trayvon, Shiwan, Akani, Guado, Tori Jane, Kite, Light Wizard 91, Mega42, Diego Zenhausen, SZ9870, Croyville, Maxwell, and everyone else in asking for some truly ridiculous things.